dine, drink, and escape in Chef J. Dillon's Dig In Brunch at Amar in Brooklyn. I ate every day. You cooking, you cook with love, you cook with passion, you put your all into it. If you're not having fun when you're cooking, it's pointless. Barbadian Barn Judge Heinz Reddix, given Diversity Trailblazer Award by New York State Bar Association. It doesn't mean that you're going to win or you're going to lose when you come into my courtroom, but I will guarantee you that you will be heard. Country Chicken with celebrity chef Patrick Simpson on this week's In the Kitchen. goes with it. There's a lot that goes on for this dish. We featured Toots and the Maytiles, originally called the Maytiles, one of the best known Skia and Rocksteady Jamaican vocal groups For now, the way, on this week's Artist Spotlight. want me to stay every day. You're watching Come Chat With Me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine. And I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. A young Jamaican chef changing the game one quarter at a time. Chef Jay Delon recently celebrated his 23rd birthday with his first annual birthday brunch. Yeah, man, you don't know. Come chat with me. You're inside of the building tonight. Yeah, with Chef J. Dillon with a big in brunch. I'm not telling you, my brother. The vibes is really nice. I'm not telling you. How are you feeling, man? I'm feeling good. We're good. Excited. Yeah. Hope everybody enjoyed the food. They love it. Food sell off. So a lot of event. Over 150 people came. Yeah. Brooklyn, New York. January 20th. It's my birthday, you already know. Next year, we have a part two again. This summer, look out for Digging the Brunch Part Two. Yeah. Digging the Brunch Part Two is going to be a summer event and a yearly event, probably. Maybe twice a year. I'm trying to be the best chef there is. It's my business card right here, Chef Jay Dillon. Definitely, definitely, man. So you say, what type of, what type of dish you specialize in? All type of dishes. Caribbean, yeah. West Indies, American, Italian, I do it all. If you're cooking, you cook with love, you cook with passion, you put your all into it. If you're not having fun when you're cooking, it's pointless. Yeah. Once you know you're cooking with love, yeah. and you put your time and dedication at all in your heart, that's you. But I love the vibes here tonight, man. I love the energy. You know, as what they said, over 100 people came out today. But this is your first one, right? My first event by myself. Yeah. No hope by nobody but some of my family. Yeah. My first event. You are 23 and you do you do big things already. You know what I mean? Cooking some delicious food for the people. Em. Yes. Where you see yourself in like the next five years as a chef? Next five years I need to own like five restaurants. Mm. Each year I'm going over and over again. Yeah. Own restaurants in Florida, Virginia, New York, yeah. all over. You just want to spread it out. I want to spread it out. I want to have a friend like McDonald's. I want to be the next Golden Crust, but my own is going to be a fine down restaurant. Yeah. What did you eat today? I had the mac and cheese, I had the, um, the chicken wings, the rasta pasta, the waffles, I had everything, almost everything. What was the number one thing, most delicious thing you had? Oh, the mac and cheese! It was so cheesy. That's it, mac and cheese? Yes, mac and cheese was the best. He, he knows how to make it very, very cheesy, so big ups to Justin. I ate every day. <laughs> Everything like what? Chicken or what? I had the jerk chicken, I had the salmon, I had... Lord, I can't even remember what I had. It was so good. I had the lobster mac. The lobster mac and cheese was real good. What do you think was the best? I can't even call it. Everything? Everything was a 10. Morgan. What's your name? Valerie. All right. Do you like the brunch? Yes. What did you eat? What did you have to eat? I had rice with um, cheese. Nice, nice. And what did you have to eat? Alright, that's alright. Let's say hi to the camera. Come look and say hi. My inspiration is my grandmother. Yeah. Like, what I can say, never give up, always follow your dreams. No yeah. matter how hard it is, 
know how many times you fail, just yeah. keep on trying no matter what. People could tell you no a thousand times. Next time you try, yeah. you can make it. And mark my word, I felt about giving up a lot of times, but yeah. next thing you know, I ain't give up. Yeah. And it was way better and bigger for me. Bigger my mother, yeah. my grandfather, my whole family. Yeah. My, my mom, Anne Marie, my yeah. father, Chicken. Mom! My, my brother Biggs right here, Chef Biggs. Yeah, Chef man, Biggs. Man, to them, man. Yeah, Chef Biggs. Yeah, it's, man. This is my younger brother right here. I don't know Chef Biggs, for real. Man, that oh, season, man. Chef Biggs on the spot, man. Yo, next brunch, man, is going to be a movie, man. Yo, it's that season, man. Shout out to my mom in the spot, man. Yo, if it wasn't for her, this wouldn't be possible, man. It's that big season, man. Mommy, mommy, how you feeling right now? Great, great. I'm so proud of him, and thanks for everybody who came out. Thank nice, man. For real, man. It was a really, really good chef. Where's the one to my brother? And don't forget. Yeah. You tune in here, come chat with me. It's like a bless. Did you see this in him as a, as, as, a, as a kid growing up? That he's gonna, that he loved cooking and you think he's gonna be a chef. Did you see it coming? Yes, I did. He was in the kitchen ever since he was five years old. Yes. Yes. And always thinking, Mom, I got an idea. I gotta do something special in the kitchen. Yeah. Are you gonna eat? And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. So you were saying the taste of Taste of her him, telling him if it's good or not. Yes, I was, and I enjoyed every bit of it. Do us, them for no. I'm an artist, hey. Reginald, for no that. Family, what Yo, Ziggy, what I'm here right now, digging brunch. The brunch, y'all mod. The thing, y'all mod. Come chat with me, TV mod. Zuras, I'm here, man. You know, we having fun. We having fun today, man. Just a good experience. You having fun. Today, I had lots of mac and cheese, plantain, and if you wait. Everything tastes good. Yeah, man, it's turn up. It's turn up. Yeah, man, where from? Where from? Yeah, it's turn up. Where from? Where from? Kingston, Jamaica. Yeah. It's thing mad, man. Thank you very much. And big up yourself. You too. All right. It's thing mad. Boom. Shout out to my nephew. He doing his thing. He's a chef. He graduated. We all out here celebrated. Yes. Select the hijab right here. Shout out to my family. Love y'all. Bye. I had beef patties, um, an egg roll with jerk, um, jerk chicken inside, and the shrimp. They didn't have no food for no chicken on them. Yeah, I had rice and peas. I had. <laughs> Rasta pasta, everything. It was good. Broken Justice, Sylvia Heinz Reddix received the 14th Annual Diversity Trailblazer Award from the New York State Bar Association's Committee on Diversity. Justice Heinz Reddix, who was born in Barbados, was the first administrative judge in the Kings County Supreme Court of Caribbean descent and the first Caribbean born judge in the New York Appellate Division. I believe that people need to have role models of all colors and creed. Associate Justice Heinz Radix of the Appellate Division, Second Department, was honored at the New York State Bar Association Diversity Trailblazer Award Ceremony for her extraordinary efforts to create opportunities for students from diverse backgrounds, mentor other lawyers, and promote equality and diversity in the workplace. Good evening, my name is Kaylin Whittingham. And we're here today at the New York State Bar Association annual meeting. Specifically, we're at the Diversity Trailblazer Awards Ceremony and Reception, where the Honorable Justice Sylvia Hines Radix just received the Trailblazer Award for 2019. I am standing here uh, with the Committee on Leadership and Development. If you want to learn more about becoming a leader in the Bar Association, please go to nisba.org, join, become a member, and email us where we can answer your questions. Here's what you need to know. If you want to know what you can do in the Bar Association, you may speak at a CLE program, you may self-nominate yourself to become a rising star, you may join a section, you may write an article. A lot of great opportunities are here at the New York State Bar Association, so get involved, join us today, and I look forward to welcoming you. Hi, my name is Alicia Johnson. I am a first year law student at Albany Law School. Um, I'm excited to be here at the NISBA annual meeting, specifically the Diversity Inclusion Committee, as they award their Diversity Trailblazer 
award to Honorable Heinz Riddix. Um, she's definitely an inspiration uh, as a justice and I'm very excited to one day expire to be um, in her shoes one day um, and just hearing her story and everything she has done so far. It's definitely some, someone that I look up to. Hi, my name is Nana Onua. I am a member of the New York State Bar Association and I'm here today at the Diversity Trailblazer Award to honor the Honorable Justice Hines Radix. Um, as a woman of color and a Caribbean, similar to Judge Hines Radix, I'm proud to be here. I aspire to be her. Um, we have some similarities in our background besides being a woman and a Caribbean woman of color. Uh, we also both practice bankruptcy law and landlord-tenant law. I am the daughter of two of the hardest working people I know. People who did not have formal educations. But I believe if I had gone into a dictionary to try to find out the word trailblazer, I would find their names. It was these two people who instilled in me the need to understand that everyone has a contribution to make. And yes, that diversity matters. The State Bar is a, it's a really a very prestigious award. The, the Diversity Trailblazer Award, there, there are so many um, who've gone before me. This is the 14th, so there are 13 really big trailblazers ahead of me who've done really significant work, and it's important to join that rank. It is important for diversity in the workplace because Everybody brings a different perspective. When you bring a different perspective, you're able to enhance what you're going to do in the workplace and, and in our country. It makes our country better because we're different people with different perspectives. Can you speak on being a Caribbean judge here in America? <laughs> well, um, I, I, I came here very young, so and I, to be a Caribbean judge, and it's, it's great. I mean, I go into our community, I go into the Caribbean community and they, and they refer to me as the judge. And it's, it's really significant, it's like they just know sometimes just one judge. And it, it is, it's good because I, it gives me the ability to be a role model for young people who, can, who have the same background, who, who come from the Caribbean and who understand that in this country there's an ability to do very good things. She's come from Barbados, so small island, made it here to New York, and sought and fulfilled the American dream. Um, she went to law school, that's where we met, Howard University School of Law. We met there, we both graduated in 1984. She always knew she wanted to be a lawyer. She pursued that, and God blessed her and fulfilled her dreams, and now she's sitting on the second highest court in the state of New York, little girl from Barbados. Tell us some of what, what it takes to, to become in that position. Tell us. Oh my goodness, years and years of hard work, dedication, going to school, studying hard, being in the community, and serving and giving, and being elected, in uh, Judge Han Radix's case, being elected by the people of her community. It is important that justice is served. Uh, it is important that we walk into courtrooms and that the people who come before us are treated with dignity and respect. And so that is always my goal as I take the bench. Um, I say to my community when I make speeches, this is a, it doesn't mean that you're gonna win or you're gonna lose when you come into my courtroom, but I will guarantee you that you will be heard. And I think that's what people just want. This week I have something in store for you guys. You're going to be in for a treat. As you know already, I'm always going to do something totally different. I wish by you day in at the kitchen. In at the kitchen. We call this country chicken because of many different reasons. The ingredients and the stuff that goes with it, there's a lot that goes on for this dish. So you're gonna definitely enjoy making this dish. So make sure you get your pen and paper and follow along. So you're gonna need a three pound chicken. Um, I would say a three pound, two and a half pound of chicken. Put all the ingredients together. Um, lay out your ingredients. It's always the best way before you start cooking. Think of all the ingredients that you need, lay them out and have them ready so you don't have to be running around and looking for stuff. You're gonna put your dry ingredients, your salt, your pepper, 
your whole base seasoning, a little bit of paprika, um, pepper flakes, all the dry ingredients you're gonna combine together. Then you're gonna add a little bit of olive oil over it just to help to make it moist. A little bit of thyme, fresh thyme, then you can go for your gravy master. Your gravy master is gonna help you give it that color and that color you're shooting for. Your fresh garlic, you put that in. At this point, you make sure your hands are clean, marinated, make sure all the, the season and everything is going rubbed in properly. You can cover it up with a plastic wrap, put it inside your refrigerator. Get your skillet nice and hot, and when your skillet is nice and hot, then you're gonna put your chicken in. At this point, you put your chicken in. You're gonna then make your chicken marinate a little bit, um, basically burn in the oil. And this you're gonna do for probably about, um, I would say four minutes. You're gonna do this, you're basically sealing in the flavor by kind of letting your chicken kind of cook just like this for a couple minutes. Um, you're sealing in the flavor, so when you're getting ready now to pack all your fresh ingredients, your onion, your scallion, your thyme, red pepper, your green pepper, um, all of that, you kind of had them in little by little. You can then go with a little bit more of the season just to help enhance the flavor. At this point, you can put your potato in and you can put your carrots in, um, your red bell pepper, your green bell pepper. You can put those stuff in because it's going to take a while to cook the chicken. So by then the potato will be cooked. Had some ketchup in. The ketchup is going to help me with my flavor and get my flavor profile going while it's cooking. So at this point, you're just going to let it cook for a little bit, let it cook for probably about 10 minutes, nice medium flame. You don't want to have it too hot because you don't want it to dry out all the flavor. So you want it to nice medium, let it take its own little time and cook, don't rush it. Every now and then you can go back and you can check on it, get down the flavor to where you want it. Taste as you go along if you feel it need a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper, a little bit more of the whole base seasoning. If it need a little bit of kick, then you can add what you need. Um, I leave my tomato for last and I have my tomato in when it's almost finished. I need go ahead and I can finish it off with my last little touch of my flavor after I taste it and I say, you know what, I need a little bit more of this and a little bit more of that. One thing with recipes, you gotta be careful. You can follow recipe, but you also have to guide yourself exactly how you need it. When it's almost finished, you can then put a little bit of flour, a teaspoon of flour to some water, and you can mix it together. You can add the flour in, help. And I'm just gonna serve this easy with some broccoli and some spinach and some pasta. Real simple, something different. Like I say, it's not all the time you need the rice and you need the yam dumpling and banana. Sometimes you want something different. So I'm serving this with a pasta and this is real nice and the pasta already have the veg inside of it. So it, you'll definitely enjoy the amount of different things that's going on for this dish. Very flavorful, very colorful. This is something you'll definitely enjoy. All right, guys, you see that? We did this together. See how simple it was? I know you're saying, yes, chef, it was simpler for you, but it's not. But trust me, if you follow all the little steps I just did, you're gonna end up with just the same presentation, same flavor, same taste. In the kitchen this week, you know already, get yourself a glass of lemonade, and you're good to go. As a matter of fact, get a nice cold red stripe beer, and you're good to go. In the kitchen, see you next week. Whilst they never achieved the commercial success or cultural impact of the whalers, tooth and the male tiles were nearly as important in the history of Jamaican music. The male tiles thrived as Kia gave way to rock steady and then evolved into reggae. They boasted one of the island's finest singers and most charismatic frontmen in the great toots, Hibbert. Is that life? Is that life? Fun because everywhere I sold out, and not just tonight, and then fun all the way. People just want me to stay every day. There's fun all the way.
This is my brother from another mother, my best friend. I'm on the road, I'm his security in Jamaica. I'm his best friend, I'm his chauffeur. He's everything. I'm everything. The show was crazy tonight. I wouldn't even was coming. You know, I love to go to all the shows, every reggae show, and I'm friends with everybody. Aki back at Third World, Buju Bantan, Midnight, um, Chronics, you know, Protege, everybody, everything that's coming, everything that is. But tonight is historical. And then I release the music in August called Mali, Tribute to Mali. And it's doing good and streaming and everywhere. Talking about Mali, it's thinking about Mali. Stay connected with Come Chat With Me. Thanks for watching Come Chat With Me. Tune in each and every Sunday right here on CIN. See you next week. I see so many chaos kicking off in your own backyard. Your nuclear weapons turning people into retard Places in Indonesia, South Africa and Angola Sudan, by their works they'll be reward Hey, some way